Hey. So I want to I want to talk a little bit about especially as women asking for what we want, although I think it certainly applies to everyone, to men and to women alike. Um, but I'm going to talk about it from my perspective, and I do that, and I, I hear a little bit more about this from women than I often do from men. This particular piece, um, and I want to do it by talking about an experience I had last night, which was um, around being with a partner of mine, and. Um, and he and I were we, were, we were connecting romantically and affectionately and sexually kind of throughout the, the evening in little ways. And then there was just this, it was like we'd finished dinner and, and then it was time for me to put the kids to bed. And I was like, is he staying? Is he not staying? And, you know, my typical response in in times like that is to kind of, is like, it's like, oh, well, I should just, and it was like, wait and see whatever he's going to do. But then I'm a little bit like, it's an unknown for me. Nothing's been created. He hasn't said, I haven't asked. And, um, and I tend to feel a little anxious sometimes in that, like, uh, and I, I also realized that part of that for me was that where he and I are at right now, I actually didn't want to have sex. Like I didn't want to have actual intercourse um, for a whole variety of reasons that I won't go into here. <laughs> anyway, that was just clear for me. And, um, and this is the part that I, that I hear more from women. What I hear more from men is that they want to know what to do and how to do it right, and they're trying to figure that out. What I hear more from women is that we, um, we're we not sure if we should ask for what we want. We want a man to know without us having to tell him. We, you know, there's all, there's like that kind of stuff going on. And, um, and so that was kind of going through my mind, and I was noticing this little bit of like the uncertainty of what was going to happen, and... Um, and then the part of me that wanted to keep playing with him in this way, but had this limit and wasn't really sure about how to express it in a way that was, that was just going to be fun for both of us. And I, I went and put my daughter in the bath and, um, just kind of side note, I'm noticing there's, there's something for me about the juxtaposition between talking about parenting my children and talking about sex that feels a little uncomfortable. I mean, if, I think for any of you who are parents, like it's there, <laughs> but there's something a little uncomfortable about like putting them both together um, publicly like this. So anyway, and I went back out in the living room and um, and I and I basically went to him and I was like, hey, like this is what I really can I tell you what I really want. And he was, said, yeah. And I was like, okay, this is what I really want. Like, I want to I wanna have, like, a, like a massive make-out session, but I don't actually want to have sex. And I want you to be the one that holds that limit. And um, because I realized, like, I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to be the one holding that line in the, like, while we were making out. That there's, I wanted to be able to really let go. But I also knew that this was a, kind of a boundary for me for last night. And, um, and he was like, okay. Um, and then he basically just had clarifying questions. He's like, well, what do you mean by sex? And what about this? And is this okay? And is this not okay? And then partly it's just the kind of being he is, like he's a little bit um, linear and analytical. And so, but I find that kind of endearing. <laughs> and then I also found it endearing basically that he really wanted to understand the game that I wanted to play. And, and I double checked with him a couple times because I also know he has a tendency to just say yes. And I wanted to know that he was actually, he was actually like into the game and, um, and he was, and then I was like, is there anything you want, you know, and sort of, so there, so there was that, but I came to him with like a wholehearted, 
um, invitation. So I think there's ways of saying like, you know, I could have said like, okay, cool, you can stay and we can kiss, but I don't want to fuck, you know, or like, but I just went and I was like, this is what I want, you know, is, is that cool with you? Can we do that? And like, and then really set them up. And then I checked again. I was like, yeah, but I really want you to be the one who holds that line. Like, even if I say I want to have sex later, like you, I want you to be the one who says like, no, no, we're not fucking tonight, babe. And, um, and that was just kind of, I mean, first of all, it's like hot for me, but I also like, I wanted to put him, I, I had a structure that I wanted, but I wanted him to take the structure and be the one to hold it. And so I asked him to do that and he said yes. And then it's just such an interesting, I mean, first of all, I think sometimes as women or as feminine beings or the ones who want to be playing the feminine, um, it can be, we might n have that structure, but it's like, how do we ask the other person to like hold the structure for us? And so I guess I'm just putting it out there to say like, this is one way. It's, I, like, I clearly let them know, this is how you can hold the structure so that I can kind of play that, that role. And then, um, you know, and then it was interesting actually in the experience of being together, like it, it got tested. There was a point where I was like, oh my God, I like totally want to have sex right now. And and then, but there was this little part of me that was like, but I don't want him to actually. And um, what's going to happen? Like, can I trust that he's really going to hold the structure? And he did. And then that was really hot. Like, and then it just felt like it let me let go even more, actually, because I had asked him to do something and, and he did it. Like, he really came through for me. <laughs> and, and I guess I also want to share this because in a way, it's, to me anyway, I don't know if it does for you, but for me, it felt a little bit like a, like an odd thing to ask for, or maybe too much, like both a little bit odd and maybe a little too much. And, um, but I asked for it anyway. And, um, and in his response in the asking and then through the whole process and afterwards, like the sense I get is that he was really okay with Having said yes, he was okay with the whole experience. It felt good to him. And so I want to give you permission too to be like, what is it that you actually want? And how can you ask for it in a way that's a real invitation? And um, I don't know what I would have done if he had said, no, I don't want to do that. I probably, like that would have been a negotiation then about what was genuinely, what I was genuinely up for if he wasn't up for holding that. So, um, that's the main part, talking about asking for what you want, being an invitation, and, and then again, especially as like someone wanting to hold the more, what, what I might call the feminine, or be in the more surrendered state, and asking the other person to say like, can you hold that more masculine role? It doesn't have to be a man, it doesn't mean anything about being a man. Um, but the, but saying to the other person, can you hold the structure for me and can you hold it no matter what, you know, um, that piece. And then I guess I just want to say that just actually in the realm of sexuality, he and I talked about afterwards and, and what was, what was true for me was that having that having actually that limit and then having it held by somebody else like first of all it did it it, it just freed me up it freed me up to to like um kind of open in certain ways or be expressive in certain ways and just know that 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 was going to be held by somebody else and there was it like actually felt like our like our makeout was more creative because we didn't have kind of what might be our go-to or like there gets to be a point and it's like yeah we just want to fuck and so then we just do and then um there's a little it's a little bit more habitual that that way of of being sexual and so the whole thing was actually really I think it was really fun for both of us um and I think that's all I have to say about that <laughs> thanks for watching